Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage device settings in Azure Active Directory. If you want to manage device identities by using the Azure portal, the devices need to be either registered or joined to Azure Active Directory. As an administrator, you can control the process of registering and joining devices by configuring the device settings. Only global administrator and cloud device administrator can manage device settings in the Azure AD portal. Let's sign in to the Azure AD portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com under Manage, click on Devices. In the last video, we have covered that how we can manage device identities in Azure Active Directory. Link to that video is also given in the description area. On Device Overview page, click on Device Settings. See, this is going to be more theoretical video than the practical one. So let's talk about the settings which we have on device settings page. The first setting is users may join devices to Azure Active Directory. This setting enables you to select the users who can join their devices as Azure AD joint devices. By default, all users can join their devices to Azure Active Directory. You can select the specific users and groups that are allowed to join devices to Azure Active Directory. Remember, this settings is only applicable to Azure AD Join Windows 10 devices. This setting does not apply to hybrid Azure AD Join devices, Azure AD Join VMs in Azure, and Azure AD Join devices using Windows Autopilot self-deployment mode. The next setting is user may register the devices with Azure Active Directory. You can configure the setting to define the users who can register their personal devices like Windows 10, iOS, Android, and Mac OS in Azure Active Directory. If you select none, devices aren't allowed to register with Azure Active Directory. But in our case, we can see those options are not available. Enrollment with Microsoft Intune or Mobile Device Management for Microsoft 365 requires registration. If you have configured either of these services, all is selected and none is unavailable. And that is our case. In our case, we are using Microsoft Intune, so these options are not available to us. If you take your pointer over here, uh, you can read the same information here. Okay. Next, an important one is require multi-factor authentication to register or join devices with Azure Active Directory. Using this setting, we can specify whether users are required to provide another authentication factor to join or register their devices to Azure Active Directory. By default, this setting is not enabled. You can see no is selected. But Microsoft recommend that you require multi-factor authentication when a device is registered or joined. Before you enable multi-factor authentication for this service, you must ensure that multi-factor authentication is configured for users that register their devices. Again, this setting also doesn't apply to hybrid Azure AD Join devices, Azure AD Join VMs in Azure, or Azure AD Join devices that use Windows Autopilot self-deployment mode. Already, I have created a video on how to configure multi-factor authentication for specific user in Azure Active Directory. Link is given in the description area if you want to check out that video. Here, I'll toggle the setting to yes as we want to enable this setting. Using maximum number of devices, 
you can specify the maximum number of azure ad join or azure ad registered devices that a user can have in azure active directory if users reach this limit they can't add more devices until one or more of the existing devices are removed from the azure active directory the default value is 50 you can increase or decrease the value as per requirement using custom option you can also use unlimited option to enforce no limit other than existing quota limits we will go with 20 which is recommended option additional local administrators on all azure ad join devices setting allows you to select the users who are granted local administrator rights on a device. Remember, this option is a premium addition capability available through products like Azure AD Premium and Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. Click on the link. Click on Add Assignments. Search for User or Group. Here we will use user account named test user1. After selecting user, click on add. We can see a user is added successfully. Users with this rule become local machine administrators on all Windows 10 devices that are joined to Azure Active Directory. They do not have the ability to manage devices object in Azure Active Directory. At top, click on Devices Settings. Already I have covered Enterprise State Rooming in the earlier video, so in this video I am not going to cover it. When you are ready, click on Save. Okay, here we can see the confirmation message that we have successfully updated device settings in our Azure Active Directory. From the device settings page, you can modify the device settings as per your organization's requirement. That concludes the video on how to manage device settings in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.